Their fight against domestic violence, the family of Yardley Love is making a push for national awareness. WJZ is live. Monique Riego has more on how they are looking to Congress for some help with this. Monique? Hey there, Mary. Well, on May 3rd, 2010, Love was beaten to death by her ex-boyfriend. Now her family is trying to turn that tragic day into something positive. It's been nearly four years since Baltimore native and University of Virginia lacrosse player Yardley Love was beaten to death by her ex-boyfriend. It happened May 3rd, 2010. I have two lives. I have my life before May 3rd, 2010, and my life after. Sharon Love, Yardley's mother, is now trying to give that tragic day a new meaning. Through the One Love Foundation, which she started with Yardley's sister, Lexi, Love is hoping to pass legislation to make May 3rd National One Love Day to raise awareness about dating violence. I think it's still a topic that's swept under the rug. Joining the fight to pass the bill is Maryland Congressman Dutch Rufersberger. Domestic violence is occurring everywhere, and, and we we have to put a stop to it, and the victims need to know how to call out for help. But this new legislation is only part of the One Love Foundation's outreach. It created this awareness campaign about dating violence and two smartphone apps. The apps help people identify if they're in an unhealthy relationship and how to get help. Just take time out, step back, and look at your situation. And and if there are problems. In 2012, George Hughley was convicted of Yardley's murder. He is serving a 23-year sentence. For her family, turning May 3rd into a national day of love not only keeps her memory alive, it may also save countless others. If we can take such a horrendous thing and turn it into something positive that will help so many other people. The bill is still in the beginning stages, but Love is hoping to get it passed by May 3rd of next year. Mary, back to you. All right, we'll continue to follow it, Monique. Thank you. For more information on dating violence or the smartphone apps, log on to our website, cbsbaltimore.com.